This is worksheet 8-9, problem number 2. It states, health officials are concerned about radon levels in homes. The half-life of radon-222 is 3.82 days. If a sample of gas contains 4.38 micrograms of radon-222, how much will remain in the sample after 15 days? All right, so with this one, let's just give ourselves a little bit of a visual representation like we did with the other one. And we know that at the start, we would have 4.38 micrograms. Okay, and then after 3.82 days, okay, our sample would then be down to 2.19 micrograms, right? Because that's the half life. All right, so what they want us to do is to figure out how much will remain in the sample after 15 days. Before we can answer that question, we need to come up with the equation that represents this situation. So we're thinking about using our formula A equals A naught times E raised to the power of you know, K times T. And when we look over here at our little visual representation, here is our A naught, right? Because that's what our initial or original amount was. Our new amount is right here, 2.19. And then our time is right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use these three to help us figure out what K is. Let's plug them in first. We've got 2.19 is equal to 4.38 times E raised to the power of K times 3.82. And now we're going to use our calculator to solve that. This is a problem where you probably want to use your solver if you have it available. I don't have it available, so I'm going to go ahead and just use my graphing feature. So remember, you want to set it equal to zero. You don't have to write out this part on your paper if you don't want to. I'm sure a lot of you are comfortable with knowing what to type in by now. But I'm going to do 4.38 times E raised to the power of 3.82x. And then we're going to subtract 2.19. Okay, so when we do this, we're going to want to look for our x-intercept. It looks like my graph is zoomed way out. So let me just reset that. Let's go to our window. And I'm going to set my x-min. I'm going to just start it here at, what, negative 20 to 20. I'll go by twos and then down here we'll just make this what negative 10 to 10. Go by ones just so we have a place to start looking. All right now we can see our graph on there and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. All I'm looking for right now is that x-intercept so there it is. I'm going to get that k equals we've got a negative 0. 181452. Right, I'm going to give it six digits there just so my answer is a little bit more accurate. If we rounded that to negative 0 0.181, it will affect our answer. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to figure out how much of our sample would remain after 15 days. So here's what our equation now looks like. We have A is equal to 4.38 times E raised to the power of negative 0 0.181452, right, times our time. Okay, so in this case, now we're going to substitute in that 15 for our time, and then that will give us our answer. Okay, so we'll say... A is going to, or we say A of 15 is going to equal 4.38 times E raised to the power of negative 0 
four, five, two. I think I forgot my five in there, right? But you have it written down so you know. All right, and then we're gonna put in our 15. So let's just go ahead and grab our calculator out. We'll just go into the calculator mode and we'll say 4.38 times E raised to that power of negative 0 0.181452. And we're gonna multiply that by 15. And what we'll get there looks like it's about 0 0.288 micrograms. So A of 15 would equal about 0 0.288 micrograms. I'd do the abbreviation, but I don't even know what it is. But that would be our answer for this problem. If you have additional questions about that one, please make sure you reach out.